For centuries, black holes have captivated scientists and everyday people alike, as their incredible properties and immense gravitational pull defy our understanding of the universe. Among the most intriguing aspects of black holes is the accretion disk that forms around them. A ring of superheated plasma heated to millions of degrees, emitting a brilliant glow that can be seen billions of light years away. In a groundbreaking scientific achievement, researchers at Imperial College London have, for the first time, generated swirling black hole rings in a laboratory setting. Join us as we explore black holes, accretion disks, the groundbreaking experiment, and the dangers of replicating these incredible celestial phenomena here on Earth. These celestial anomalies lurk within the fabric of space-time, their gravity so fearsome that it traps all in its reach, even light. Born in the fiery aftermath of a star's death, black holes not only grow by feasting on the surrounding matter, but can merge with other black holes to form cosmic behemoths, supermassive black holes. It is widely believed that these giants lurk in the heart of most galaxies, their presence detected through interactions with surrounding matter and radiation. The idea of black holes traces its roots back centuries. But Stephen Hawking's seminal 1971 paper on Hawking radiation elevated them from science fiction to scientific reality. First-hand evidence of a black hole's existence emerged in 1995, courtesy of a supermassive specimen nestled in the M87 galaxy, wielding a mass 6.5 billion times that of our Sun. But the astronomical revelations don't stop there. In 2004, scientists discovered a pair of black holes, their masses combining to 30 times that of our Sun, locked in a cosmic waltz within our galaxy. Barely a decade later, the smallest known black hole was discovered, a mere 30 times the mass of Jupiter. 2019 marked another milestone in black hole research. Armed with the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, an interconnected network of radio telescopes spanning the globe, Scientists captured the first image of a black hole right in the heart of the Milky Way, totaling 100 million solar masses. The EHT is primed to unveil other cosmic secrets in our ongoing quest to understand these celestial giants. The sheer density of black holes defies comprehension. Imagine a planet and star's worth of matter crammed into a mere teaspoon. That's the incredible power we're grappling with as we delve into the mysterious world of black holes. What is an accretion disk? Picture a luminous ring of superheated plasma swirling around a black hole. Its glow, so intense, is visible from billions of light years away. This cosmic ballet of heated matter around black holes is known as an accretion disk, and it serves as a brilliant beacon, signaling a black hole's presence in the vast cosmos. So how do these celestial light show form? The process begins when matter succumbs to the irresistible gravitational pull of a black hole. As this matter spirals ever closer, it endures staggering gravitational forces, causing it to heat up to unimaginable temperatures. This intense heat transforms the matter into a beacon of light, a spectacle we observe as a glowing halo around the black hole. Balance is critical in this cosmic dance. Centrifugal force, generated by the accretion disk's rapid rotation, acts as a counterweight to gravity. This balance prevents the accretion disk from spiraling inwards and vanishing into the black hole's core. A decrease in centrifugal force would destabilize the disk, leading to its self-implosion. The size of an accretion disk is governed mainly by the black hole's mass. The rule of thumb? The bigger the black hole, the larger the accretion disk. Accretion disks grace the horizons of all black holes, from the smaller stellar mass to the supermassive ones. But accretion disks aren't just cosmic light shows. They're cosmic nurseries. These swirling, superheated rings of matter are crucial in the birth of new stars and planetary systems. As the plasma condenses under the intense gravitational forces, these clusters of matter may gradually evolve into celestial bodies. In 2022, a remarkable achievement graced the halls of Imperial College London. A team led by Dr. Vicente Valenzuela Villaseca decoded the cryptic nature of accretion disks, successfully replicating these celestial marvels in the laboratory. This breakthrough ushered in a new era in our understanding of black holes. The star of this scientific breakthrough is the intimidating MAGPI machine, short for Mega Ampere Generator for Plasma Implosion Experiments, celebrated for its ability to generate magnetic fields of a staggering 100 million Tesla, 
The Magpie machine is a titan in plasma research. Under the guidance of the Imperial College London team, the Magpie machine propelled eight plasma jets at a blistering speed of 100 million kilometers per hour. The jets collided, sparking a vortex of spinning plasma. This fiery column, bound by its gravitational pull, collapsed into an artificial accretion disk. The highlight of this experiment was the striking similarity between the lab-made ring and its cosmic counterpart. This artificial marvel mimicked natural accretion disks' size, shape and temperature and matched their radiant emission. This parallel reinforced the scientific community's faith in this new approach to studying these celestial phenomena. Spurred by their achievement of creating black hole rings in the lab, the researchers are going further. They intend to increase the plasma pulse's duration, allowing a more extended exploration of the behavior and mechanics of these artificial disks. They also plan to create disks with diverse characteristics, giving us a broader perspective of the complex dynamics between black holes, accretion disks and their surroundings. Creating artificial accretion disks is a giant leap towards deciphering black holes. It provides a gateway to examine these elusive entities in unmatched detail, potentially unveiling their growth and evolution. This breakthrough also allows us to consider using black holes for technological advancements, possibly even for cosmic waste disposal or as futuristic energy sources. In essence, Dr. Vicente Valenzuela Villaseca and his team have opened up new horizons in astrophysics. Their ability to replicate an accretion disk in a lab allows us to delve into the depths of black holes and accretion disks with unprecedented detail. The future of astrophysics indeed holds the promise of thrilling discoveries. For a moment, imagine delving into the enigmatic abyss of the universe, probing the secrets of black holes and their accompanying accretion disks. There is a compelling notion that has taken root in scientific circles, a thought as thrilling as it is terrifying. The creation of miniature black holes within the controlled confines of a laboratory. Yet, as we contemplate these cosmic adventures, we must not turn a blind eye to the potential dangers that such a daring endeavor might unleash. The reality of birthing a black hole in a laboratory remains shrouded in a cloud of uncertainty. But the hypothetical perils are too significant to ignore. Picture a rogue black hole slipping its laboratory shackles, triggering a catastrophe of astronomical proportions. Its insatiable gravitational pull could consume everything. Humans, buildings, entire planets. Or consider the spewing Hawking radiation, an ominous byproduct of these cosmic entities' ferocious gravitational fields meddling with the quantum vacuum. If unleashed on Earth, it could pose a lethal threat to all life forms. And then, there's the fear of a domino effect disaster. A lab-born black hole could create multiple black holes, leading us to a nightmarish scenario wherein our universe is swallowed by these unstoppable cosmic entities. There are, however, factors that could influence these potential threats. The size of the black hole, for instance. Surprisingly, smaller black holes pose a greater risk with their compressed size and intense gravitational pull. As we stand on the precipice of this unknown, we need to tread cautiously. The hazards of crafting mini black holes remain speculative, lacking tangible evidence to suggest their formation is plausible with current technology. However, these potential risks demand a measured approach if we dare to domesticate these cosmic wonders within the confines of a lab. Yet the allure of the unknown remains strong. Black holes, these cosmic enigmas, continue to captivate researchers worldwide. A question that looms large is this. How can black holes expand devouring matter while their surrounding accretion disks remain stable? Groundbreaking experiments, like those conducted by the Imperial College London researchers, hold the keys to unlocking these secrets and capitalizing on potential applications. As we navigate the cosmos, bringing elements of the great unknown to the safety of our labs, the science of astrophysics is witnessing a new dawn. We're devising audacious techniques to grapple with the secrets of black holes and other celestial wonders, pushing the boundaries of our understanding while maintaining the sanctity of safety and precision. Let's rewind to the 1970s, a time when the legendary Stephen Hawking and his team were making early forays into exploring black holes within a laboratory's confines. 
Imagine a rotating cylinder of liquid mercury, superheated by a laser until it transforms into a plasma cloud. This cloud collapses under the force of gravity, setting the stage for a black hole simulation. The light seeping from this plasma bore the signature of Hawking's predictions, providing the first echoes of his groundbreaking theory of Hawking radiation. Fast forward to today. The arena of cosmic experiments has undergone a metamorphosis. Picture single file chains of ultra cold atoms corralled within a magnetic field. This field envelops the particles, creating a ring of matter eerily resembling an accretion disk. Scientists have used this technique to simulate the point of no return in a black hole, the event horizon. The light escaping from this simulated horizon corroborates the predictions Hawking made about his eponymous radiation. Yet, our laboratory universe extends beyond black holes. Our aspiration to recreate the cosmos under the lab's watchful eyes has led to the birth of artificial mini-suns. Fusing hydrogen atoms into helium, we ignite a fusion reaction that radiates a heat comparable to the blazing sun. These experimental mini-suns are ramped up to millions of degrees, echoing the searing conditions within stars. And then there are the solar flares, colossal bursts of energy erupting on the sun's surface, triggered by a sudden release of magnetic energy. Picture plasma superheated to a fever pitch. The resulting instability often sparks solar flares akin to the fiery displays we witness from our sun. The ability to simulate these celestial events within our laboratories is nothing short of a cosmic revelation. These experiments have allowed us to tap into a reservoir of detailed information, which would have remained out of our reach had we been limited to remote observation. And thus we continue our cosmic journey, unveiling the universe's secrets, one lab experiment at a time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to stay updated with all the science and technology news on Tectonic Shift.